Nice crowd, huh? Mm. 70 people, I think. We burned our way to Nowheresville. <clears throat> she needed to rest, that's all. This is a true story. She needed to rest, that's all, she said. Somewhere which was anywhere and out of the cold. She needed to wash a certain something out of her memory, something bad that happened back in Guatemala or maybe just out there in the street. There's not enough light in the candle to burn, but it was New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve in New York City is supposed to be special. A time of new beginnings, uh, happy endings, a moment when time stops worrying about itself. It considers itself lucky and fine and almost alive. And maybe I could help her with that. Could I buy her a drink? She was nearly 17, but she couldn't exactly prove it. And her sister lived in Brooklyn and told her to look for a place with a phone. And there was a booth in the hallway, but her sister hadn't called yet. And that's why she was hanging around. You see, it took two and a half days on a Greyhound to get here. The people on the bus were stupid and crazy. The man in the next seat wouldn't leave her alone, and this place was warm and cozy, and they left her alone. Thank Jesus for that. People ought to leave each other alone and just be kind, she said. There was a war back home, but it ruined everything. The people were poor, and the people got angry and decided to do something about it, so the soldiers began coming on with their Yankee guns, and the people were dead and dying, and the villages burned, and her brother was dead at the age of 14, a bullet through his forehead, and she liked my eyes. They were empty and inviting. Could I just show you how we dance? Back in my village, she said. I said, oh, sure, of course, why not? I'm not so much of a dancer, but it was a dance my body recognized. I, I could dance to it. It was a refugee dance. She swung me in her arms like a cradle, like a grave. We were two shipwrecked sailors swinging in the bottomless pit of the same empty sea. And the weight of the world lifted and lifted. And the phone in the hallway rang off the hook. Time stopped. We burned our way to Nowheresville together. And then we sat back down. And it was New Year's Day. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs>